Hi, I'm George Acorn, and that is my 1990 Porsche 911 Carrera 2. This is more of a, a walk around than a, a review, I guess, uh, as this isn't exactly, it's not crazy modified, but it's also not like a typical uh, stock specimen or anything. So um, I picked this car up in 2016. The 964 craze was already kind of hot, so probably about double what they were at the low point, but but not close to where it is today. Um, this car was always a uh, Washington area car. I currently live in Pennsylvania, but this car started in, I think, Annapolis, Maryland, and the owner I got it from was in Virginia. Um, he did most of the restoration on it. It's got 165,000 miles on it, or thereabouts. Um, so it's had a lot of uh, updates and upgrades, particularly the engine. Uh, although it it had a uh, worth noting while we're on the outside, it had a, a paint or a glass out respray, so real, full repaint of the black original paint. Uh, some of the upgrades to the exterior include um, some bumperette delete lenses that I got out of Europe uh, that usually. On 964 in the U.S., there's like a, a rubber bumperette right here uh, that would, I guess, save your bumper from being damaged if you come up on something. Um, I just thought this was a cleaner look, so I went ahead and replaced it. I don't really like the clear lenses, so I kept the ambers, or the orange ones there on the corner. Uh, I also did a, a European plate uh, that my shop, Monteith Restorations in Pennsylvania, did uh, kind of roll to match the, the, the taper of the bumper or the curvature of the bumper. And uh, I initially did that because I, uh, <laughs> I I popped the clutch one day by accident uh, while I was in the garage and cracked it on the tractor. It's since been repaired, but I like the look of the plate, so we kept it. Those are 17-inch Cup 1 replica wheels, so replicas of the Porsche Cup 1 wheel that came on the Carrera RS, which I always dug the look. Um, stock caps. Thanks, man. A lot of people walking by, it makes friends. So uh, anyway, we've done that. I think the outside is pretty much stock. It, we got some trim issues when it was repainted. It's missing some trim in there, that sort of thing. Just redid the, the um, sunroof trims. So those are great, those are Done by my Monteith Restorations. It's not a stock ride height, it's, it's a little bit lower. It's got Ebach Pro Kit Springs, Bilstein shocks and struts, and then um, it's been corner balanced, so it handles really well. It's not crazy low, but lower than an original one would have been, probably close to what a Carrera RS would be in, in Europe. Now it's also got a 993 front strut brace uh, done by the, the uh, previous owner to me. On the inside, this is an original uh, big bolster car, so it's got the turbo seats. Also had a plus stereo, so that had a, a, an amp, a blah punk amp below the seat, uh, and then extra speakers on the door, tweeter, and the larger. And then back here, I did the, the Porsche Classic upgrade kit, because I was, these were missing, and this is the, the stereo was mainly removed when we got it, so. Uh, went ahead and had to rebuild that and again Monteith Restorations helped me out a lot with that. Some of the other upgrades I've done is this probably one of the more controversial upgrades is this uh this contoured steering wheel. It's a, a redone factory airbag wheel but with a couple of upgrades more than I had asked for uh that my my partner's back performance who worked with me on that wanted to show off more than uh, or pretty much all they could do. So it's a little bit further than I'd have probably taken it on my own, but uh, one of the things that I liked about it was we had the 12 o'clock um, strip right here, kind of just in the same black leather, kind of like they do on the base, Caymans and Boxsters and that sort of thing. Uh, also wanted to do a contour, probably not quite the scalloped if I were going to redo it again, but, um, but cool and then uh, down here, they did flat bottom and some more contouring. Again, it's a little bit more than I'd have probably done just aesthetically, but it feels great to drive, so I run it anyway. It, it feels better than the original. 
And of course it doesn't have the wear. I, I kept the original, I didn't cut up my own. Uh, don't worry, patina is still on that and it's in a bag in the garage. Uh, also, let's see here, some other upgrades that we did on the inside. The car's got the Porsche Classic single din Navi unit. Uh, so it had an inoperative radio when we got it and I went ahead and, and upgraded that. Now, this is probably what's showing. Actually, no, because it's gonna Bluetooth connect to the phone. The, um, what's worth noting there is it's just, it's slow on the uptake when you turn it on. It's, it, um, radio comes on right away, but then by the time it connects with Bluetooth and then can stream, it's usually, you know, you're, I guess maybe that's a good t time to warm up the engine before you go. But at the same time, if you're in a hurry, you're down the road before it's actually operating and streaming, which is how I use it most of the time. Uh, shift knob, I went ahead and upgraded to a, um, weighted shift knob kind of 959 style from this particular part is from a um, Carrera 4S or 993 turbo on the 993 generation. They were actually fitted, I think in the 944 turbo as well. Never fitted in the 964, but I love the look, love the feel. So uh, I wanted it. And worth noting too, that this is um, map is from a 964 part. So I went ahead and ordered the part with a aluminum map. It's actually uh, a finished plastic. It's not real aluminum. You can buy aluminum versions from, I believe like Pelican parts and some other people offer them. I ordered one from Pelican. It was missing the tabs that are on the stock piece. So it, uh, I tried to double tape it down, double sided tape it down. It didn't quite work. It was always falling off. Um, double sided tape gets hot in the car and then it loses effectiveness and it just falls off. Uh, and the other side was, I, even though I ordered a 964 unit, it may have just been a mistake, but it came in with a shift map from a 944, which is different. Um, so I got rid of that. And anyway, I, I switched to the stock one again. If you use like a, um, just a little trick here, if you use a trim tool, you can get these pried out. This came with a, I think a titanium six speed map. Of course, my car is a five speed because it's a 964. So um, just a little detail, but I, I wanted it to look stock, even though it's, it's kind of the upgrade unit from another year. So another cool feature about the interior that's a little bit different, uh, in a 964, these buttons would be here. So this would be like the lock button. This is to clear out any, um, any idiot light that pops up in the uh, information or well, you know, you have different, as you can see there, there's some light blanks that come up if there's an issue. Um, so that would clear it out just so it's not distracting. And then this is the hazard um, switch. But beyond that, down here would be a rotary dial, typically in a 964 or a blank, uh, but most of them would have the dial. Uh, and in the, the dial cars, it's for the spoiler that goes up and down in the back. Um, it's kind of a mechanical spoiler that over a certain speed will go up and down. This three switch setup is from a 993, so the later generation 911. So I've put a switch in uh, that has um, the spoiler. So that would have been what like a standard Carrera 2 from a 993 nine has. Uh, and then these two buttons are actually from a 993 Targa. So it would have been like the sunshade. But to me, I always thought the icon sort of looks like a garage. And one of the things I like about my modern cars is that they have Homelink in them and Homelink is cool for um, opening your garage door without having to keep a garage door opener in the car. Uh, so I talked to my buddy Wes Monteith at Monteith Restorations about kind of my idea to do this. And uh, he liked the idea. He helped me execute it. We have, um, uh, so two switches here. Interestingly, they're a two-way switch. So um, we hooked it up to the garage door opener for my house. And at least where I keep the car, uh, I can do two. Each direction is a different uh, since this one's not hooked up and I'm not using the battery, I'll use that. But um, So each one is a different door. So I could do this and this, and that would open or close. That would open and then close again the same door. This would open and then close again the same door. And so you can actually do four doors from this setup. Uh, I just have like a regular old uh, non-rolling... Uh, uh, I just have a regular non-rolling um, code for my door. So it's, it's a pretty simple... Uh, door, garage door opener. So I had an extra one. Wes mounted it. You can see that there's a cut there with some screws. That's where I would go in to replace the battery. It's not hardwired because we were concerned about 
the voltage of the car, uh, burning out the, the garage door opener. So it just, you know, I, it, it, a couple times that I've had to replace the battery that comes in the opener, I just go in via that side um, panel there and replace it. Otherwise you probably wouldn't even know it's there. And then um, this, this will do uh, the two doors in the garage where I keep the car. And uh, I haven't done a second one yet. And frankly, there's not a lot of room back here to put another garage door opener unless I find something smaller. <clears throat> so I may not, uh, or we'll wait and see what we do with that. But I, this currently is not hooked up, so I, I doesn't really do anything. But I could um, hook up a, a second uh, pair of garage doors on that, which is just that much cooler. And and the, the what I like about it is it looks completely period correct if you didn't know if you weren't a nerd about these cars uh you'd never know those switches don't exist from 964 to 993 as you can see that the buttons are pretty much the same so uh and everything bolts right in or or actually clips right in so uh it's my own kind of unique thing it might cause conversation to people who might really who might notice the difference but otherwise it's it's just very very subtle just like a lot of the other points on this the the porsche classic head unit and um not so much the wheel, but like I said, the, the wheel feels great. So I'll keep that forever anyway, unless I get around to making another one that's that's a little more subtle. I, I'd probably, if I could do this the way I wanted it, I would probably just do this completely rounded so it looked more period. Um, maybe like an early Volkswagen R32, I probably wouldn't do this seam and I probably wouldn't do flat bottom or any of the scalping. And would just keep that rounded like the like the normal one. All I really wanted when I, when I was kind of envisioning this in my own head was uh, a completely rounded uh, thumb hold here and a 12 o'clock band, and that was it. So uh, who knows next time? But like I said, for now, it's it is enjoyable. So that is the interior. Pardon the grass and such. I keep this near my tractor. I always walk through the mode of grass, and so my shop always jokes that there's all kinds of grass in the car. It's just part of me owning this driver. One of the cool things about this car is it's got 100 and, okay, 163,000 miles on it. So it's a driver. I don't have to worry about it being some pristine thing. I enjoy the hell out of it and I uh, don't really care if it's a little worn. That's kind of the point. But um, another cool thing worth noting is in the map pocket, I keep an element uh, fire extinguisher. So I think these came from, um, really small as you can see, these came from fighting chimney fires. Once you it's kind of like a match. Once you strike it, it emits gas that puts out the fire uh, because it, it basically suffocates the fire. And so I, I guess originally the application on these things was that they would activate them and then drop them down a chimney and that would put out the fire in the chimney uh, remotely, obviously. But um, in a car like this, it's always nice to have a fire extinguisher. It's cheaper than a full-fledged fire extinguisher and it fits in the map pocket versus having one of those braces that goes under the seat or whatever. So this car is, um, the engine has been fully rebuilt. Uh, that was done by Chapman Auto Works by the previous owner. Uh, Chapman is in Sterling, Virginia. With it, it's got a Seawong chip um, paired for both a muffler and cat bypass that are from Schnell. Um, it's got Mali uh, late style pistons, cylinder with head gasket that was an upgrade because the early carrera twos and carrera fours that were 964 did not have head gaskets uh, which caused a problem so this one's been upgraded i think a lot of them have uh, it's also got eldrin super c2 cams uh, bayer 12 plug wire set uh, arp rod bolts super tech head studs target billet aluminum valve covers uh, schnell primary bypass i mentioned that schnell cat bypass and uh, Saks Clutch was upgraded. The, the transmission otherwise is stock. So I'm reading that off a list because that was all done by the previous owner. Hell of a setup though. You really, uh, it's got a great burble when you start it up. Uh, I may have lost a baffle inside the exhaust somewhere. I think that happened last summer and we kind of noticed the difference. And then we found uh, the piece of metal as we were kind of looking around. So it's a little bit louder now, but it sounds amazing. So we're just gonna leave it that way. A little boomy in the interior, but nothing too bad. So let's start this thing up so you can hear it. As you can hear it's, it's loud, but it's not too loud, depending on who you ask. Uh, it's a little low beat from the cam. Uh, the exhaust, you can see it's not stock. Obviously it's not that restricted, so it can get a little fumey. But I love it because it sounds exotic and rad.
one of the cool touches I did, it's just a sticker, right? No big deal. But I, in a, um, an online auction, I was able to find a period correct uh, 964 hour career cup decal. So kind of nerdy, but I did that. Stickers always kind of tell a story. I found this uh, period sticker from school I went to, high school, boarding school in Pennsylvania. And um, uh, I screwed it up, but it kind of just seems like patina anyway. So who cares? And it's not too big. And then um, on the other side, I play with uh, the P9XX Porsche Instagram account. So we had some stickers made of that. Just kind of the Martini logo playing with a, a logo from um, a barcode and then made sort of vintage style. So clear sticker that fits on the inside. And uh, that was done by Sticker Mule. This car originally was a uh, it was ordered with, uh, like I said, the big bolsters in the interior, the upgraded audio, sunroof, um, cruise control, and uh, limited slip differential. So a Carrera 2 manual with limited slip differential and big bolsters was what I had always been searching for. And um, when I found one, I, I grabbed it for what he was asking. Seemed fair. And... Uh, I think at this point it's pretty sought after. The, uh, like I said, I upgraded the, the wheels to uh, replicas of the uh, original Porsche Cup 1. It, uh, so they're a little softer. I'd love to find a real set at some point, even better a magnesium set from um, the Carrera RS. But I'll also have that fitted with um, Michelin Pilot Sports. I mean, it, I mean it's, it made a big difference when I switched it. When I first got the car, it had the small forged Cup 1s on it which weren't factory, but that's what the original owner had. The car would definitely rotate more easily uh, with that and some hand-cooked tires. Um, so it was fun to kind of slide around a bit, but it just didn't look as cool. Uh, and it's got enough power, even low down, that uh, I can break these tires loose easy uh, if I want to anyway. So it's just, uh, you know, the game's a little more serious Serious if I start sliding it around. Um, you know, it's it's got a... A higher tolerance now for adhesions so if i want to make it slide around now i'm i'm gambling uh, i guess a, a higher risk rate but uh it's a lot of fun really well balanced well sorted car and uh just a hell of a lot of fun to drive i guess uh any other you know that's all i've done to it so far what i'd love to do further are just subtle things the older i get the more i just want to leave it stock maybe that's a, a side effect of age i don't know but um or not stock, but leave it how it is. But I, a couple of things I'd like to do is is maybe replace this rear glass and this kind of worn rear um, rear window seal, and maybe do the 993 style. Um, this is like a small, subtle, uh, built-in. How would you say, molded-in um, spoiler that's at the top of the window, and a different LED, like a wider, flatter LED brick. It's not original, but that might look cool. I tend to like subtle things. And uh, I'd like to do some 993 door handles. I have some already. I don't know if I'm gonna do, get rid of the flag mirrors and do the teardrops or not. Um, if I went, wanted to go really crazy, which I doubt I will ever do, I'd love to do the 993 style windshield wipers that flip it around a little more effective, like Singer does on theirs. I do have a little bit of rust, so you never know. Maybe I'll switch out that cowling. Anyway, that is my 964. It's a, uh, it was something, 964 is kind of like my high school car at 48. This was the car that was the car to have when I was in high school. Obviously couldn't afford it, but you know, like everybody, it seems you get older and when you're able to get one, you get one. Fortunately, I was able to get one before they got really expensive because I don't know that I would today. <laughs> it's still an amazing car, but the money that you would have to pay for this today would buy something much newer and much more capable. So. Uh, that said, something newer and more capable would probably depreciate where this thing's probably only going to go the other way. Okay, so fast forward. I'm home, and I figured I'd show how the door opener works. So if I push down on here, that one's opening. And I have that one programmed on the other one, so push up. Ooh, it didn't go. There you go. Anyway, pretty cool. 
little vintage home link. So that is my not exactly stock nor pristine, but incredibly fun Porsche 911. I hope that was informative.